Right now, across North America, about 80% of evangelical churches are either plateaued or in decline. Only 20% of churches are growing. And most of them are growing by transfer, by just getting Christians to go from one church to another. Only about 5% of churches are actually growing by conversion. Now, on one hand, that's pretty bad news. But on the other hand, it isn't. Because what that 5% of churches demonstrate, and we see those churches in big cities and in small and small towns right across the continent. But what those churches demonstrate is that it is possible to swim against the stream that it is possible to have a vital and vibrant church that grows by fulfilling the Great Commission. Church vitalization, this course is all about looking at those top 5% of churches. Now what we're hoping on you learning during this course is several different things. First, to think theologically about the purpose of the church and how to lead it effectively that our core beliefs are ultimately going to have a major impact on whether our church dies or whether it thrives. We also want to understand how to build systems and structures and strategies that create and align church ministries to accomplish the Great Commission. So this course and the basic premise of this course is that the Great Commission is our job. How do we make sure that our churches are actually doing that? And then lastly, we want to actually teach skills on how to assess and evaluate existing churches and draw up actionable plans to turn that church around. So we're going to take a look at these kinds of churches, understand how they work, why they work, the theology of they work, and then figure out how you can do that in your own setting. Now the outline of the course, we're going to be taking a look at several different things. So the first bit, we're going to be looking at the theology of the thriving church. What are the theological distinctives that you see in thriving churches compared to dying churches? Now we're not talking about denominational distinctives, um, but within the denominations, you can actually see certain theological concepts that thriving churches adopt and lay hold of, and certain theological roadblocks that cause churches to die. We're also going to look at the model of the thriving church. So how do we understand, how does that church actually work? Now, I'll give you a clue. It's completely Great Commission focused. But we're going to get deep in quite a bit more detail on what that actually looks like. We're also going to look at the culture of a thriving church. You may have heard that a toxic culture will poison a healthy strategy every single time. Well, we need to understand how do those people in those churches treat each other? What is the sort of the organizational culture that thriving churches have that dying churches do not? And we're going to also look at the structure of the thriving church. So we're going to take a look at some issues of governance and organization behind the scenes that help churches thrive rather than have churches die. And then lastly, we're going to look at tools we can use for assessment and church turnaround on how you in your own situation can assess a church, figure out what's going right, figure out what's going wrong, and how you can actually see a church that is plateaued or declined to thrive once again.